Hi, I hope this is working. Uh, hi, it's Craig here. It's four o'clock in New York City. And I just want to say hi. And I'm going to do a little sharing today from New York. It's a beautiful autumn day and um, it's quite special. And I was going to talk about influences, but I've got a new piece today that I want to share with you and go over with you. But I just want to report, you know, I'm going to look a little tired, but that's because I'm in New York and it's kind of a stressful place to be. But I've been able to go to a lot of nice concerts. I've been to three that have been really quite special. Last Saturday I went to go see uh, the Santa Cecilia Orchestra of Rome at Carnegie Hall, one of my favorite places in the world, and they did Mahler's Sixth Symphony, and it was quite remarkable, and Anthony Papano conducted, and it was really a worthwhile and fabulous experience. And then this Wednesday, it was the opening of the Leonard Bernstein Festival at the New York Philharmonic, and naturally I went because, as you know, I had a relationship in terms of being his assistant, and he wrote a piece of music for me and everything, so it was great. I went with his family, and we all had a wonderful time, and they, Joshua Bell played Bernstein's Serenade, which is a violin concerto, and then they did the first symphony of Bernstein called Jeremiah, with a wonderful mezzo-soprano Kelly O'Connor, and it was the New York Phil conducted by its former music director, Alan Gilbert. And it was really quite special. And it was a great evening. And the New York Philharmonic actually sounded really, really fantastic. And the crowd was enthusiastic. And that's the first of three or four concerts by the New York Phil celebrating the 100th birthday of Leonard Bernstein, which is not until next August, but people just can't wait. So <laughs> it was kind of fun. And then two nights ago, on Thursday, I went to Carnegie Recital Hall, known as Vile Recital Hall, to hear a young Polish piano. His name is Simon Nering. He's, I think, 21, 22. And he won the Arthur Rubinstein Prize. As many of you know, Arthur Rubinstein was one of the greatest pianists of the 20th century, and he was from Poland. And this was actually the first Polish person to ever win the prize. And he gave a wonderful recital, and it was the Beethoven Appassionata, some mazurkas and variations by Szymanowski, and then one of my favorite works of all time, the Chopin Piano Sonata Number no. 2, which includes the funeral march that everybody is, knows so well. But it's very rarely played because it's very difficult, not only musically, but uh, poetically. And many of the young pianists today only want to show off, and they don't want to show off their um, intelligence, too. So it was really a special, special concert. And I went with the wife of a famous composer, Mr. Penderecki, who's from Poland. And that was also really quite an amazing Thing to spend some time with her because she's a remarkable person. So today I just want to share with you, I've written a new piece and it's still a little fresh, but I'm going to play it for you. Of course, it doesn't have a title and um, I'm going to play it for you two ways. And this was what I want to talk about today, the difference between minor and major. And how a dip, what a difference it can make in terms of the feeling and the sensitivity of a piece of music. So I'm going to play it first for you in minor, and um, I have no title for it yet, which is natural for me. They usually come when I have to go to the pressing for the album. So, and so I don't know what to call this except we're going to hear this piece now. It's new, brand new, and it's an A minor.
So that's the new piece in A minor. And I think it's quite beautiful and I would love to get a title for it at some point. And who knows, <laughs> these titles are so funny. But now if we play it in major, and we play exactly the same piece, not in A minor, but in A major, you'll see that it's a totally different and totally different feeling about it. And I want to say thanks to Sasha and Doug and the other people that are tuning in and commenting. I think it's really appreciated and um, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. So now we're going to play the same piece. But this time it's going to be an A major as compared to A minor. And you'll see it's got a completely different feeling.
same notes, just a different key, A minor, A major. Um, I tend to like the A minor one better than the A major. I think it works better for the mood of the piece. And I, as I said, I really have no title for it yet, but it's, I think it's beautiful. It's still a little work in progress, but I think it's coming along pretty well. And um, so I just wanted to share that with you. If you have any ideas of a title or anything like that, please let me know. And let me know if you liked it better in major or minor. I mean, these things are always interesting to me to see what people think and how people feel about these things. So, since we are, excuse me, I have to get up here for a second, in New York City, and it's the end of October, and it is one of those October bright blue days where it's fresh, well it's actually warm today, but it's sunny and blue, and the leaves have started to change, and it's just absolutely gorgeous, and I dragged out of my closet, a piece that I wrote many, many years ago, and I thought I'd share it with you sort of as a send-off today. It's called October Bright Blue, and I'll give it a stab. I haven't played it in a very long time, but uh, it sort of sums up the season, and as it's close to the end of October, why not? Okay, so this is October Bright Blue.
so that was October Bright Blue. I haven't played that in years. It's from my album Within Memory, I believe. Yeah, and um, so it kind of, for me, sums up the feeling of a beautiful day in, in autumn where the sun is shining and it's pretty beautiful out and it's great. And uh, so that's from Within Memory. So that's what I wanted to share today. My new piece in A minor, A major, to show the contrast and to share October Bright Blue with you. Next week I'll be broadcasting from Berlin and we'll have a different time and so keep, keep posted on Facebook and let me know um, if there's any topics you would like to have me discuss. And this is fun for me and it gives me a chance to share my music with you and I finally got the camera angle right for those people that were annoyed by it as much as I was and um, things like that. So, so enjoy the rest of the evening, day, morning, wherever you are and um, go listen to me on Spotify or Apple Music or iTunes or Pandora, or whatever your favorite platform is, and uh, share my music, and always um, be in touch with me. It's always great to share with you, and thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks so much, and all the best. Take care.